Here's the result of one of our heat maps. Um, in this case, people were supposed to click and, and say where they um, uh, uh, saw this particular organism. And uh, for reasons that aren't entirely clear, we have this, uh, all of our maps have this huge hit up here. And so that's a bit distracting. It, it kind of screws with the colors and everything. But what you can do, even if that does happen, is you can come down here to uh, show grid lines. Uh, you can even um, come up and, and change the grid size if you want them finer scale. Although this is probably about, about right um, as far as the resolution of where people are clicking. And so even though we have this, if we click up here, we see that uh, 29 of the 74 clicks were up in this upper left corner, which is clearly some kind of issue with the, uh, the software or, or how people are entering the survey. If I, if I rotate on these, if I hover, excuse me, around these other grids, ones that have no responses just respond as nothing. But when I hit one, where was that guy? If I hit one, there we go. If I hit one where someone had clicked, it'll say one of 74. So you can actually go in and you can um, just manually run through the grid and actually recreate this data set. Here's another one. Down over here, there's three. Uh, here there's one. Here there's three. None, none, four. Here there's four, none, one, four, etc. So, so while it's a bummer that we have this, this error thing, you can recover the data and you can uh, generate, your own, uh, generate your own maps. So there we go. There's some heat maps from Qualtrics.